What's up, everyone? It's Lemish Very Polite. I'm going to do a little update on the uh, the Derby Shop, guys. I uh, haven't really uh, done any updates on that thing in forever. I've just been knocking out cars after cars, and honestly, you guys haven't really seen uh, uh, any updates on the shop other than what you've seen in the garage and whatnot. And the last couple days, I've been busting butt. Um, a couple cars went. I got a, everything organized, or starting to get everything organized. Um, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I kind of got sick of looking at things laying around and not in a proper place. Uh, so I decided, you know what? I want to do something about it. Um, I had Friday off, and I hauled in a couple loads, or hauled in a load of scrap, got some money. Pretty happy about that. Uh, you guys will see a video on that shortly. Um, this video will be up for any of that stuff. So you guys will see a little uh, difference between videos and whatnot. I'm kind of behind on videos. So uh, things will seem really out of place and whatnot. But don't worry about that. I'm going to try to get caught up, guys. But um, I got a lot of updates. A lot of new things around. Uh, but you guys will get to see that in future videos. I haven't made anything on them. No videos on them um, If you follow me on Facebook, there's a few things that you guys will see that I've got that I haven't showed yet, so You guys ready to see some updates on the shop and around the shop I should say Well Think I got enough tires guys I Think I need more <laughs> Um, if you guys remember, my tire pile used to be over there, and I finally got sick of it kept getting further out and out, and I was like, you know what? Let's do something about that. I had a bunch of extra wood that I picked up off of a job site many years ago, and I decided to build a, a tire rack. Um, the lumber I got for free, it's not the greatest of lumber, but it's good enough to well, hold tires, and uh, um, basically this whole thing cost me like 130 bucks uh, with all the like the bra the brackets and the screws and whatnot. Um, everything at Menards, so I get 11% rebate on it. So eh, get a little money back, not too much though. But yeah, I didn't realize how many tires I had. Um, the top row is basically all tires that have no rims and the, everything else has rims um majority of these tires are junk and i'm kind of just keeping them just because they're if i need a spare for something like if i get a find a car and it doesn't come with any tires i can grab a few off the rack they're not organized in patterns and whatnot but i kind of know what ones are what um I can kind of dig them out and I'll have to search through them, but at least this will be easier to find uh, because there's a lot of tires I f totally forgot about. Um, like that one there, I had that was like when I first started derbying and the rim's all screwed up and whatnot, but the, there's decent tread on the tire yet, so I can use that for a future car. Uh, I got a couple of my skid loader tires I want to keep towards the bottom. Those are the heaviest, so that's not so bad. Uh, you will notice a bunch of screws are hanging through, but I ain't worried. Not gonna throw a fit about it. And then everything else is kind of all thrown together. Extra bracing in the middle. But yeah, this took me about half a day to do. Started at noon, done by eight. So eight hours. Like done with all, like putting all the tires on by eight. But yeah, got quite a few tires. Um, there are a few aluminum ones in here, which those ones are actually, they're alum aluminum, so I can pop the tires off and then junk the tires and then scrap the rims. Um, I don't, I thought I had more, but I must have got rid of a bunch. But as you can tell, yeah, there's quite a few. Um, this didn't, isn't really too hard to make, guys. If you got extra lumber, which I had a bunch of two by sixes. And all I did was uh, cut it to the length that I wanted, which this is to inside to inside is 15 feet. And then the outside is 
whatever put add that two extra inches so 15 4 and added bracing in the middle all the way up and i left this long because if i decide to if i want to do one more row higher i can but more than likely i'll go further out to the edge but for now i'm pretty happy with how this turned out i don't have any more i don't have any tires laying around in my shop or around the around the shop anymore there's a few tires on the backwoods but meh those can stay i got all my donut tires stacked there so now i know what kind of donuts i have or how many i have but yeah not much to spare guys <laughs> but there's an aluminum one that one i could probably pull off but yeah there's a few on here that i totally forgot about and when i saw them like oh gosh memories but that's one little update second little update is if you guys remember that little white shed was just a freaking disaster you could not climb in there to get anything you couldn't grab nothing without scraping your legs on something and i basically took a few hours to just kind of clean this up like that i didn't even touch it's kind of out of the way got my pop-up i cleaned that up and got it stacked or slid in right there uh junk lawnmower i had for parts i'll probably just pull the back tires off and scrap that that hood which uh if i ever do a future derby build lawnmower build um i got a spare and i do have another um chassis or frame i guess you could say of the same kind of brand as this so i could build a fresh one because i do have all this pipe up here uh this used to be all laying right in the middle freaking stepping all over it sli slipping and sliding all the rebarb too and i think i'm going to use this pipe here uh to build another derby lawnmower guys i'm not going to get rid of this one yet um i'm still trying to find a rear end for it i tried many a times to find something but i could not so i did see something on facebook for free i should have went and got it because it's the same kind of thing i just need a hydro rear end um i found one got it brought it home changed the rear end out didn't work so now i gotta figure out another rear end uh this one is for parts i'll probably end up scrapping it pull the tires and then scrap the rest um i bought it basically for the motor so i can put it on there but for now whatever so i'm starting to slowly try to get i want to i want to put a bunch of shelving in here um probably put it up along here and then i'll put parts in certain spots but like those are all my uh w bot or uh, lumina struts that are still in good shape that i should be able to use and then some other miscellaneous stuff and then the barrels full of scrap not scrap but like welding material and then that's parts for my stock parts for my truck and i got a couple transmissions one's for ford the other one should be for the chevy um miscellaneous stuff from the chicken coop which we'll take a walk in there in a little bit some cage material boxes of random assortments ladder so i can get up top which that has bumpers and other junk that i probably won't ever use but i got just in case and yeah i'm really liking that there's no tires here more cage material someday i'll i'll get to it a couple hoods in there this is all cleaned out use this is what i have left yet so i have enough material to build another couple shelving sections so i am not worried about it that motor is just for parts until i decide what i want to do with it like i pulled the starter off of it and i'm sure i can save a bunch of other stuff um i do need a good running motor which that car there has one so i might scrap this save that one that car is going to be on the next for the chopping block and then the purple car is going to be next 
And then that car is going to be ran again. This one's going to be ran again. That one's going to be cut apart. So I got one, two, three, four more cars to cut apart. Got a couple that are missing right here. You guys will get to see a video on that shortly. Uh, I'm not going to use anything. Probably take the salt fencing and stuff down. And uh, maybe I'll leave it up. Because if I ever decide to get some like goats or something one day, I can use it. But yeah, this has kind of become the storage area on certain stuff. Like all my radiators, most of them are junk. My bumper collection and some rim, miscellaneous rims and then whatever else I just decided to throw in here. But mainly bumpers and uh, such. I think I might throw some more stuff in here eventually, but for now... It's just stuff I want to get out of the element, get it out of my yard so I'm not walking all over it. I really, really, really have been neglecting on uh, uh, cleaning up around here. And now I finally got it kind of getting back into a decent looking yard. All this here is just miscellaneous scrap. Probably will get rid of the rims, uh, whatever's in here bunch of scrap metal miscellaneous junk so the batteries all scrap but yeah that's pretty much it guys um the next kind of goal is once i'm actually done with derby season i'm going to gut the shop and clean everything out but i mean right now it's kind of a disaster because i got the next project going uh, I gotta get this fixed and ready to rock and roll. I got a couple weeks, so not too big of a hurry. It does need very little, but yeah. For now, it's kind of a disaster zone, but yeah. Not looking too bad compared to what it was before. But thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, like, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys all in the next video.